Hello everybody and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of The Magpie Coffin by Wiley Young. Uh, now this is a splatter western. Uh, it is book one and I believe a series. It is the splatter western series. I think it's called that. Uh, published by Death's Head Press. So what I'm going to do is read the synopsis and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And I do have thoughts on it. All right. The year is 1875, and outlaw Salem Covington has spent the last 20 years collecting stories, possessions, and lives. Nicknamed the Black Magpie for his exploits during the war, Salem has carved a bloody trail across the western territories. Informed that his mentor, Comanche shaman Dead Bear, has been murdered, he vows vengeance on the perpetrators. Enlisting the help of an army scout and preser preserving the body of his mentor in a specially made coffin, Salem sets out in pursuit. But the choices of Salem's past that earned him the moniker Black Magpie are riding hard behind him, and the only weapon that can kill him might not be as far away as he thinks. The, Black the Magpie Coffin is an unrelenting tale of revenge with precise brutality and extreme violence. Alright, so all that being said, the first thing I'm going to say about this book is that this book has got to be the bloodiest and goriest uh, book that I've read since Jack Ketchum's Off Season. Uh, like Ketchum's Off Season, the violence and the gore in this is just to the ex absolute extreme, and it literally seems like every page of this book is just drenched in blood and gore. Okay, the character of Salem Covington. He, to me, worships violence. He worships death. Uh, killing to him is secondhand, you know, especially when it comes to the getting the revenge that he needs to get against these men that killed his mentor. But it doesn't matter. The thing about it is, is that if you get in his way, you're going to die. It doesn't matter whether he's after you or not. If you get in your, your, in his way, you are going to die. It doesn't matter whether you're a man, woman, or child. He doesn't care about that. Now, toward the end of the book, you realize why it is that he is this way. There's a little bit of a twist. I'm not going to go too into it too much. But just basically, without, uh, without giving too much away, basically the outcome of his, or the destination of his soul uh, depends on his killing. Okay, um, one thing I'm gonna say about this: I love the backdrop of this. I love the fact that it's set in the uh, in the old west, you know, because it just makes the book that much more violent. Uh, there are actually two inanimate characters and in, or, or inanimate objects in this book that, to me, are just as equally characters as the human characters. Uh, one of them, or actually three, uh, one of them is 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 the old west itself. All right. Uh, the next is the uh, body or spirit of a dead bear, the shaman, uh, the uh, mentor to Salem Covington, the one whom he is getting revenge for, uh, for his murder. Uh, he is a, definitely another character altogether. But to me, the most important character that is uh, not human in this book is the gun. And I'm talking about the gun that Salem Covington carries, the gun that he uses to kill. Because every time you read about his gun in this book, the gun is with a cap, the G is, a, is capitalized, you know, to show the importance of this object. All right. Uh, it, to me, is like when you read the Bible, you used to see uh, in the Bible, you would see where it would, when it referred to Jesus or God as he or him the H would be capitalized to show uh, reverence and show respect, uh, to show, uh, yeah, okay. And to me, that shows me that the gun in this book, the gun that Salem Covington, Covington carries, that is his God. That The gun is his Jesus. The gun is his, his, is his church. It is his salvation, you know, and that is why that G is capitalized like that. Uh... As for the violence, as for the gore, uh, like, like I said, it seems to me that like every single page of this book, I know it's not, I mean, not every page is, but literally this book is drenched, it, it is drenched in blood and gore, you know, and that is not taking away anything because all things considered, this book is a revenge tale. 
you know, and I would have to tell you that I'm trying to think about, uh, trying to think about any other stories that were, uh, revenge tales. Uh, one that comes to mind is, of course, the movie, uh, Unforgiven, uh, the Clint Eastwood movie. And that's not necessarily a revenge tale, uh, so to speak. But to me, this is kind of the same feel that this book has, the Magpie Coffin has. And I, like I said, I compared it also to uh, Jack Ketchum's Off Season uh, for two reasons. First of all, like I said, is the gore. The gore scenes, if you've never read Off Season, then by all means read Off Season and then read the Magpie Coffin. And you will see that the gore scenes in both of those are just so intense, extreme. Uh, they're stomach churning, you know, both of them. And to me, the Magpie Coffin, if Jack Ketchum were alive and if Wiley Young had not been the one to write the Magpie Coffin, then Jack Ketchum would have taken the notion to write the Magpie Coffin. He would have said, hey, look, I want to write a splatter western. And yeah, I truly believe, yeah, I, yeah, I truly believe the spirit of Jack Ketchum smiles down on this book. You know, I just... And uh, as you can tell, I love this book. And the thing about it is, is that I watched so many reviews of the book uh, that gave it a five-star rating. I don't think I've seen any review that did not love this book. And when it comes to something like that, I'm always hesitant. You know, it's like when somebody says, oh, you got to go see this movie. It's great. And it's, you know, praises or book or whatever. I'm hesitant because I don't want to be disappointed. And I'll tell you right now, I was not disappointed in, in the least by this book. You know, I, I I can't recommend it enough. I'm I'm going on a rant here. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going on a complete and absolute rant about this book. You know, so like I said, there are like two more books in the series. Uh, one is called Hunger on the Chisholm Trail. That's book two. And the uh, third one is called Dust, I believe it is. I can't wait to read those because if they are anywhere near as good as the Magpie Coffin, then I am in for an absolute treat, you know, and I will be reviewing those if I do get around to read them because, yeah, five stars, man. I can't, yeah, I can't tell you any more. I, I can't praise this book enough. Definite five-star read. All right, so that's going to do it. That's my review. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, have a great day. Bye.